So why don't you explain a little bit about functional neurology, a kind of a little bit more deeper into your practice, um, some of the symptoms and diagnoses that you manage with your patients? Yeah, that's a good question. We should probably start there. Um, so as a functional neurologist, the, probably the easiest way to understand it um, would be similar to like most people would understand if you go to a neurologist, usually um, we're trying to diagnose that's something that's wrong in your brain. And in, in, in a medical neurologist scenario, um, we're typically looking at a CT or an MRI or an EEG, and we're trying to find a focal area within the brain that's not doing well. And we can usually see that, whether it's a stroke or a, a lep epileptiform activity or something growing in your brain. Um, but we also have injuries in the brain that don't necessarily have full on like bleeding in the brain, or they don't have, you know, big old tumor nugget growing in there or epileptiform activity. Um, we have things where we have errors, but they're, um, they're sub imaging errors and we still have to be able to find them. And that's really what, what we do as functional neurologists is we're looking at that same localization, that same um, kind of attention to detail and finding what's wrong in a certain area or triangulating an area of the brain where there's a problem. Um, but we're looking at it at a, at a functional level. So we are watching biomarkers and looking at how people move and how they express their, um, their sensory system and how all those things tie together through the integration of the brain. Um, so it allows us to be able to, rather than um, just kind of hook the computer up to the car and see what the codes say, we take it for a ride and we figure out like, where are the errors happening? Um, you know, when someone goes to move their hand, does it move normally? or does it have a tremor or an error with the way that it moves? If we watch people walk, do they walk the way we would expect them to walk or do they have errors? And all these things, when they add up, point us uh, in the direction of where we wanna see in the brain, where the problem is. And that gives us a window to say, all right, well, how can we then apply the things that we know from all sorts of different pockets in healthcare, which is beautiful to be able to say, okay, how do we use vestibular therapy in this instance to be able to stimulate the brain? or how do we use vision therapy, or how do we use PT, or whatever the thing is, whatever the tool is that we wanna use, how do we use that to then stimulate the brain rather than um, you know, just kind of hoping that we, we manage to hit it through some um, schematic of, of therapeutic application. Um, now question, are all functional neurologists chiropractors or do some have other medical degrees? Yeah, that's a good question. So, um, the short answer is no. It's open to kind of any allied health professional that, that kind of chooses that path of study. It is, um, I think it resonates with people that are used to kind of a, a holistic background, um, which is why I think it trends that way. And then the person, Dr. Carrick, who kind of founded the, the specialty is a, is a chiropractor by training. Um, but he's also collaborated. I mean, he's Right now, he's working at Harvard and Cambridge in the lab and doing some beautiful things there. Um, so d definitely a multidisciplinary tool. It's really, uh, it comes down more to a to just a, a more depth of view into how we diagnose things to the brain. Um, but that applies across different modalities, whether you're an OT, a PT, a DO, an MD. Um, the, the applications are more in the, the kind of diagnostic process. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you asked that though, that's a great question. Yeah, you know, functional neurology is something I've been trying to learn more about because I have had several clients see functional neurologists and I've gotten a widespread of um, reports from functional neurology in terms of what they did, what they found, what they recommended. So I'm really curious to learn more about your practice and uh, really what your scope is. What is what is your specialty? What types of patients are most often coming to see you? Yeah, so I um, I have a, a different sort of practice as a kind of a tertiary specialist. So a lot of the people that come see me are actually on referral um, from other providers. Um, you know, I, I teach for the Care Institute, I teach functional neurology and clinical neurology. Um, so that's kind of my, my little niche in the world is I help kind of more complex cases that, um, that are kind of refractory to other, other methodologies. So that's where I live. Um, the people that come, it's vast. So a lot of them are people that have had head injuries and concussions because um, that translates really well. But I also see a lot of kids with neurobehavioral disorders 
um, different the different arrays of dizziness that you see that are multifactorial. You, I mean, they don't all come from one place. Um, and then I see a large contingent of people um, because of the specialty that I have with the autonomic system. So I see uh, an array of people that have different syndromes like uh, postural orthostatic tachycardia, which I'm sure you guys are seeing um, across the board to kind of vasovagal syncopes and neurocardiogenic syncopes and, and these uh, conditions where we have kind of faults that start to occur in the brain and over time they progress into different sorts of secondary disorders that affect people's ability to stand up, like they stand up and feel real dizzy, their heart rate can fly out of the ceiling, they start beating real fast, lightheaded, short of breath, all these things that tend to happen once head injuries kind of move into a chronic phase um, or, or viral, you know, we're in, we're in the time of COVID. So these kind of viral instances as they, as they go and progress and become chronic, um, we see these autonomic syndromes and that's, that's kind of a place where I spend a lot of time.